why. Today we are going to talk about why coaching. So yesterday we talked about what? What is coaching? What is it? And we went through the very basic, simple terms. I told you four different things. That's what we do as coaches. We do four different things. So today I really want to dive into why coaching of all the things that are out there, all the jobs, all the network marketing companies, all of the different opportunities that you have at your fingertips. Why would you choose coaching? Why did I choose coaching is what I'm going to start with. So for me specifically, as I shared with you in yesterday's video, the what is coaching. When I started this journey, it was truly just because I was finally ready after six months of watching my mentor, I was finally ready to just work on my own health. I didn't even, I wasn't really ready to talk or think about coaching. I needed to prove to myself first that I could in fact stick with it <laughs> because prior to that, even though I've been an athlete my entire life, I got into my adult life, teaching, working full time, driving very long commute. I had an hour commute there, an hour commute home every day. Um, I was not making time for my health. I was not making time to move my body. I wasn't making time for anything. I was paying for a gym membership, but it rarely got used. And when I did use it, it was a Monday, Tuesday, and rarely did I make it to that Wednesday. And then I wouldn't go again for probably a month. But I wanted to go. I knew I was paying for it. And what's also funny is most times that I went was right after I saw that charge on my card in my bank statement that I got charged for the bank for, for the, uh, the gym membership again. I was like, oh yeah, I'm still paying for that. $50 a month for the YMCA gym membership that I had. <sighs> I wasted a lot of money, a lot of money at paying for something that I, not, I never utilized. So finally for me, the reason that I got into this at all is because I watched my mentor for six months and finally was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. Clearly the gym isn't working for me. Even though at one point in my life, I was a total, what you would call gym rat. Like I was there, I would spend one to two hours there every single day. Like I had everything. I had my folder with all of my like workout splits and all the things I was like so dedicated. But at that time in my life, when I started four and a half years ago, I just didn't want that life anymore. So I needed something that was more convenient for me. And after watching my mentor for six months, who was working out from home, had really great results and was able to fit it in into short chunks in the morning or in the afternoons if she needed, I was like, okay, maybe that would work for me. i still have this hour commute, but maybe I could do a 30 minute workout from home, go ahead and shower in the comfort of my home, not have to pack a bag, not have to do all of those things. And then I could go to work, come back home and still enjoy my evenings like I had been. So I decided to give it a try. Knew there was a 30 day money back guarantee. Kind of figured I'd probably use it. But either way, I was like, you know what? It's worth a shot because I'm not happy or healthy, which if you saw the video yesterday, that is my mission in this personal journey, but also in helping others. I was not happy or healthy at all. I wasn't walking around being the person that I am today, the woman that I wanted to be. I was struggling. I was very unhappy and I was very unhealthy. I had gained quite a bit of weight. I had lost a ton of muscle. Again, being an athlete my entire life, that was something that I was used to being able to just get up and go, run around with all my nieces and nephews, have energy, all of that. And I had none of it. I couldn't even climb stairs without being completely out of breath, all of the things. I also really, really missed my community. I got out of college. I got out of my master's degree of having the support system that was built in with, you know, fellow classmates and, and professors and all of that. And now I was driving an hour to work somewhere where I did have people that I enjoyed working with and that became friends of mine, but they lived an hour away from me. So I would go home every day and I was, it was me with my now husband, but at the time boyfriend that it was like, I just had, you know, my family, my immediate family, which there's nothing wrong with that, but all of the friend and friendships and support systems that I had had in years previous were gone. And so I was just struggling. I was lonely, I was struggling, and I needed something. So I got started and I chose this actually after already pairing with a different company. I wanted the health and fitness. I wanted the healthy, the happy. I wanted all of that. And I actually had a friend who was utilizing a different company in the supplements with that. And she was really enjoying it. So I actually started with that. And I tried to get better in the gym and I tried to do the things, but I really utilized those supplements as my magic pill, which I thought for a while worked, but 
it didn't because there's no such thing. And once I found out that Beachbody was a thing, I was like, wait, they have supplements, they have community, they have workouts, and they have nutrition help. That's, that's the whole package. Like, that's what I need. Still watched for six months, but I finally decided this is what I need. I watched my mentor show, day up, show up day after day and do all of the things that I knew I could do if I was willing and ready to commit. So I went for it. It wasn't long that I was like, I'm obsessed with this. This is amazing. It took me, I did a 21 day program. I, after those three weeks, I had results. I felt amazing. I felt like the athlete that I used to be. And I wanted to share this for, with the world. I wanted to scream it from the rooftops. So in a, in a sense, I did. I chose this coaching journey. So the why, why coaching was because I got to focus on me first. If it was a job where I just showed up, helped other people, didn't help myself, I didn't need that. I was a teacher. Teachers are very, very, we give and give and give all day long. Like That's what we do. And it takes a special person to be a teacher. I worked in the special education world, which it takes an even more special person because you're giving arguably more, but it's in a different way. All teachers are giving constantly everything of themselves. Special education is very differentiated, so it just takes a lot. There's a lot going on there, and it was something that I just felt like I was constantly giving and giving and giving, and so coaching was finally something where I was like, wait, I get to like work on myself first, and then I can help other people? Because I learned about the four things that we do as coaches, which is what I talked about in the what video. And I was like, wait, okay, so my number one job as a coach is to to focus on me, to be proof of this product, to be proof that these workouts work, to be proof that these nutrition programs work, to be proof that these supplements are great, to be proof that you can get results. It's all about me, which I was already focused on as a client. So I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm here for that. And then I developed my, my love of personal development. And I was like, okay, that's part of my job too. If I become a coach, like out of these four things, two of these things are things that are gonna help me. So I was like, okay, this is, this is pretty cool because a lot of jobs, I don't know what your job is. If you have a full-time job, a part-time job currently, a lot of jobs claim for you to make sure you're taking care of yourself, make sure you're doing this, doing that, blah, blah, blah. But rarely do they give you the time to do that. Rarely do they give you the resources to do that. It's just a lot of talk and it's not a lot of action. And with coaching, it is your number one job to focus on you. Because if you aren't first doing the things and getting the results that you're after, why would anyone want to join you? So you have to lead from the front. You have to be the person that goes first. And I was here for that because guess what Guess what that does for you? Major accountability. If, you, if I'm about to announce to my social media world, no matter how big or small that might be, that I am a coach of health and fitness, hello accountability in the sense that I now have this whole community that's looking to me to be like, oh, she's a health and fitness coach? Well, let's see what she got. So that for me was major, major accountability, major. So the why for me was that. It was 100%, I got to focus on me first and it, I got tons of built-in accountability and support, which if you recall, is what I was really, really missing. As an athlete, as someone who was a part of every possible club when I was in you know, younger years of school, high school and beyond, I love being a part of a group. I love being a part of something that's bigger than myself. And that quickly became what coaching was for me and what I was missing out of my everyday life. So the final thing that I want to mention is that there are no prerequisites for this. There are coaches that are on my team who hated working out, hated vegetables, hated all the things when they first started, and now they are advocates for all of it. Then there are others like me who didn't hate it, but I had lost my way. I used to be very active. I used to be very fit. I used to be somebody who could eat whatever. And it took time for me to learn and to grow. But no matter where you come from, there are no prerequisites other than the fact that you just have to be willing to try and to work hard and to be consistent. If you're willing to do those, this is, this is definitely going to be something that you should be considering. So that's why coaching. There are all kinds of other things you could go out and do. Think about them, consider them. But that right there, that's the why for me with coaching.